our seas are facing mounting pressures from climate change, pollution and overfishing. This grim reality threatens the catches and the livelihoods of countless fishers. Could emerging alternatives like seaweed farming help restore our oceans and secure a more sustainable future for fishers? The clear waters of Mulroy Bay in northwest Ireland are ideal for organic aquaculture. Dozens of people cultivate mussels, oysters and salmon here, like former fisherman Jerry Gallagher. I was a commercial fisherman. We drift netted for salmon, we fished crab, we fished lobster, we uh, bottom trawled and we gill netted. Jerry turned to aquaculture after fish stocks dwindled, making traditional fishing no longer economically viable. People are still fishing, obviously, but um, not in the same numbers. And the effort per catch now is huge. If uh, you give me a boat now and told me that's your boat now, off you go fishing, I would be telling you, you just keep the boat and, you know, I wouldn't do it. Now Jerry's operations extend beyond shellfish. Mulroy Bay is home to the flourishing algae farm spanning dozens of hectares. On underwater lines grow edible seaweeds such as Alaria escalanta, also known as Atlantic wakame, a well-known local species and traditional food in many North Atlantic countries. Jerry's daughter Lorraine, who studied human nutrition, manages the farm. Her interest in the potential health benefits of a seaweed-based diet inspired by longevity trends in countries like Japan led her to launch this venture. I realised that we have such an amazing coastline here in Ireland. My family worked in aquaculture, so my brain just started ticking and I said, I think there's a huge potential here with seaweed. The seeding begins in October and by April the seaweed is ready for harvest. Jerry Gallagher says that this work is ideal for those coming from fishing and aquaculture, offering them valuable employment during the quieter seasons. People coming from fisheries, totally, uh, you know, it's ideal. They would all have a bit of a passion for the sea. Skills uh, with ropes and with boats and with engines and stuff, which are pretty essential, uh, yeah, for, for everyday operations. The demand for seaweed is rising across Europe as it's increasingly seen as part of a healthy diet. Local organic producers like Jerry and Lorraine Gallagher highlight the environmental benefits over foreign imports. Harvested from the clean waters of Mulroy Bay, this seaweed can even be eaten raw. I'll just take a little bit. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. It has a beautiful crunchy bite very sweet the saltiness of the sea it's it's a, it's beautiful it really is would you like to try some <laughs> the company supplies seaweed to the food industry its new factory located close to the farm processes 300 kilograms of seaweed per hour turning it into dry flakes these flakes are easy to store, transport and use in food products. Such facilities help scale up seaweed farming in Europe while creating jobs for those in traditional coastal industries like fishing and mussel farming. We have people from other aquaculture sectors that work with us. So Mussels has a season which is the opposite to ours. So it means that when we are busy, they are quiet and vice versa. And it's wonderful to be able to share those skills and also that knowledge. Thank you so much. The Irish government Thank backs you. seaweed farming as a sustainable way to diversify income and support coastal communities that have faced significant reductions in fishery quotas in recent years. In Ireland, we have suffered an impact as a result of Brexit. Uh, it's seen 15% of our national quota. Um, lost to our sector, which is a big impact. And the potential of seaweed really offers a real opportunity there. Ireland's unique position could make it a leading seaweed producer in the European Union. 
The Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea provide ideal conditions for this emerging industry. Currently, most European seaweed is wild harvested and often used as soil fertilizer. But new food grade farming sites are popping up along the coastlines, promising a significant increase in production. Sustainably managed seaweed farms do more than grow healthy food and create jobs for former fishers. They also help restore ocean health and protect coastlines from erosion, potentially turning the tide for Europe's coastal economies. At the conference organised by the seaweed company, speakers highlighted the environmental advantages of seaweed over traditional agriculture and discussed the need to streamline regulation and licensing. Both European administration and industry stakeholders share a vision of imminent growth for the sector. Europe produces 0.2% of uh, algae in the world, but we import 500 million worth of uh, algae every year. And this is projected to grow because of increasing demand, people wanting to eat healthier food, more sustainable food. And um, this is why we have this EU algae initiative to scale up uh, production around Europe. In food, as food ingredient, we will have a new life for seaweed. It will grow. Uh, it's a guarantee that we already have. There is a, a big movement to have other sources of proteins, other sources of fibers. Seaweed could partially substitute meat in usual diets. The seaweed company is marketing its own meat blend with 25% seaweed. They claim this reduces the environmental impact by a quarter and enhances nutritional value. It gives a better flavour to the food, but with the seaweed you also will bring in fibre and that's especially carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates that have a function to play in your gut, so it's gut health. And then the whole mineral profile that will add to your, your food, essential macronutrients and micronutrients, example calcium, magnesium. Mm. And for former fishermen like Jerry Gallagher, seaweed farming offers a way to continue their life's passion working at sea while providing healthy, locally grown food to more people. Seaweed is definitely the future for us and we'll be producing more and more species and we'll be working with more and more people, researching new species to, grow, to cultivate. Yeah, it's, um, hopefully it will save the planet.